Um, I would have preferred a more unequivocal uh, defence of the Russian uh, Turkish agreement uh, on, on Idlib. Uh, we want it to hold three million civilians are at risk. The Council has been very exercised about this. Uh, and I didn't find as unequivocal an unconditional statement that the agreement would hold uh, as I would have liked. So I think the Council may need to return to this, uh, but I hope all the upcoming meetings, international meetings in November, uh, can say something about the importance of protecting those civilians in Idlib. And are you worried that the Syrians seem to be kind of signalling that there's no role for the UN in a political process? I think they were trying to have it both ways. They put huge amounts of emphasis on the words facilitate. Uh, the UN can facilitate. Uh, it's not quite what's in 2254. Uh, so I think we need to see what happens concretely and what the next stages are out of the meeting this weekend uh, between Turkey, Russia, Germany and France. And then we need to see what happens in the small group and what happens with Stefan's further trip uh, to Damascus, and then I think we need to take stock and work out what it all means for the political process. Do you think the Russians are doing enough to put pressure on Syria? Um, I noticed the Russians did not answer the questions that were put to them about the status of the Sochi agreement, what it now was, what they were now going to do on it. Uh, so either they have much less influence over Syria than they claim, uh, or they are actively uh, working uh, against their own agreement, and I don't know which of those it is, but I hope we will get clarity over the international meetings that are coming up on what exactly can now be done to get the Constitutional Committee underway, get the political process going, and bring this awful conflict to an end. So overall, how do you, how do you feel coming out of this? Are you worried that um, nothing is going to happen? Uh, well, as I said, it, I think it's a grave challenge. Um, we look to these international meetings that are coming up to be able to make some progress uh, with the Russians and the Syrians, and I include in that Stefan's uh, further trip uh, to Damascus. Uh, but as I also said, what we've heard today uh, was not a, a ringing uh, statement of support uh, for working with the UN on the political process out of the Syrians. Uh, so we really need that to be front and centre. Thanks very much. Do you think that the Mastura, please, uh, do you think that the Mastura is in charge of forming the, the committee, the Constitution Committee, or he's a facilitator? What do you, what's your position on this point? I'm not going to take a position on that because I don't want to cut across uh, the special envoy uh, himself. Uh, he has said, the Secretary General has asked him to make recommendations in the light of his discussions in Damascus on what the UN role could be. Uh, but obviously the UN cannot be sidelined in this and still uh, be used uh, to give credibility to a process uh, that doesn't have credibility. So we need to see how far Stefan can get uh, with Damascus uh, and the other international meetings, and then we need to take stock. Thanks very much.